Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to bring you guys to my trip to Daoji city in back in February. It is 270 miles from Changde city from on its west and it is 167 kilometers from Chongqing city on its east. Daoji rock carvings were built from 650 AD in the Tang dynasty and continued to the Ming dynasty and Qing dynasty. The rock carvings in these places are very distinguished, both in China and abroad. There are more than 50,000 statues and over 100,000 Chinese characters of inscriptions among the rock carvings. The technique for the rock carvings may have originated in ancient India. The earliest carvings were begun in 650 AD during the early Tang dynasty, but the main period of their creation started in the late 9th century. A Buddhist monk named Zha Jifeng started to work on to elaborate sculptures and carvings on Mount Baoding, dedicated 70 years of his life to this outstanding project. Unlike the other rock carvings, Daoju rock carvings include statues representing from all three major religions Buddhism, Taoism and Confucianism. The rock carvings became World Heritage Site in 1999. I think Daoju carvings represent the harmonious coexistence of three different religions in China and prove us all that love and peace can coexist in the world. And here is what I documented for you guys. two to three hours. We visited the temple uh, and also Daji carvings. It was a nice experience to visit all the places. Uh, although it was really crowded and we kind of felt overwhelmed uh, because there were too many people. Due to recent COVID cases here in China, they strengthened the COVID restrictions. So having tests 
uh, in 48 hours is mandatory. So if you would like to visit here, you have to make sure that you have tests in 48 hours. Uh, and they're suggesting that your test must be taken in Chongqing. We took our tests in Chengdu, but still worked. We somehow we convinced them to let us in. We came here by car. We ordered from the application, it's called Dididachi. If you would like to take a car as we did, uh, it's probably going to cost you 300 to 400 yuan. There are also other options like taking train, you can take Gautier, which is high speed train, or uh, you can come here by bus. That's also an option. But we thought that the most convenient way to get here was taking a cab, even though it's a little bit expensive. I think the entrance ticket is around 90 yuan, which is $15, I guess. Two hours of walking made us super tired and we were desperately looking for food. We were about to give up until we saw this place and it was great. The guy even showed us some tricks. Hey, I do weekly vlogs as well as giving tips and insights about China. If you're new here and like this kind of contents, consider subscribing to my channel. See you soon!